Hello everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Ludicrous Speed. It's such a beautiful sunny winter's day in Sydney today, I thought we'd focus on rooftop solar. If you're finding Ludicrous Speed for the first time, then you are very welcome. On this channel we discuss the impending energy revolution making its way across Australia and the rest of the world. We talk about electric cars, solar panels and home batteries. If you haven't done so already, please take a moment to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. And don't forget to give this video a like. Today we're going to talk about rooftop solar. Alright, so just to begin, I wanted to send a big shout out and thank you to my own mother for pointing out this article to me about the solar installation on the rooftop of the New South Wales Teachers Federation House in Surrey Hills in Sydney's inner city. My mother is of course a teacher and has been a proud member of the Teachers Federation for almost 30 years. This article states that on the rooftop of this building, 158 panels make up an 85 kilowatt solar array, which has the potential to save the teachers $30,000 in their electricity bills each year. A solar array cost 155,000 Australian dollars to install. That's about 115,000 US dollars. That's inclusive of about $40,000 in government rebates. Apparently the payback time for the system is four years. That's slightly less than usual for most residential installations, which normally quote about five to six years. And I'll explain in a minute why that is. The article goes on to say that the Teachers Federation's electricity bill is $230,000 per annum. Now that is bill shock. They also implemented other energy efficient and sustainability measures including LED lights and motion sensor technology. This has already helped to save them $20,000 a year. They were considering battery technology but didn't think it was worth it from a commercial point of view and I tend to agree with this statement which I will also explain a bit later on. The article then ends by saying that teachers as educators need to set a good example to their students and the wider community about sustainability, environmentalism and looking after the world for future generations. Well, first of all, congratulations to the teachers and the Teachers Federation for investing in solar technology. I think it's great that major organisations such as this are leading the way on clean and renewable energy. It also makes sense from an economic point of view, whereby it can pay itself off in four years. Businesses tend to trade during daylight hours, and so the bulk of their electricity use would occur when the sun is in the sky. A large rooftop solar array makes complete sense to help offset a large chunk of their electricity usage which is why their payback is quicker than residential solar installations because the large part of a household's electricity usage occurs after hours when people turn on their appliances when they return home from work. Unfortunately, the sun has already set by then, so the payback relies on feed-in tariffs, which makes the payback time slower as feed-in tariffs are usually lower than offsetting grid usage tariffs. Unless you have a battery, of course, but that's a whole different story. Speaking of which, the article stated that the battery didn't make commercial sense, and although I'm an advocate of home battery storage, I agree that for a commercial organisation, it doesn't make much sense because, as I said earlier, the bulk of electricity use for businesses occur during the day when it can be offset by the sun and solar panels anyway. At night, a responsible commercial outfit should be implementing energy efficient practices like turning off their lights when no one is around. Which brings me to that exact point. It's amazing that the Teachers Federation have saved $20,000 annually already alone just by implementing such sustainable practices. We can do the same thing in our homes too. If you sit down and actively make some changes like installing LED lights and using energy hungry appliances during off peak times, we can actually save a lot of money without even having to install solar panels or batteries. Just try it out for yourself. Well thanks again for watching guys and uh, once again congratulations to the Teachers Federation for an impressive rooftop installation. As I've said previously it makes a lot of sense in a city like Sydney that gets so much sunshine to install solar panels. I hope more and more companies install solar panels on the rooftops as part of their sustainable practice policies. Alright guys, hope it's a lovely day wherever you are in this world and as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. If you're about to buy a Tesla, use our promo code on screen to score free unlimited supercharging. Happy charging!